In November 2021, then Labor leader and Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, Michael Gunner, blasted those who were against the mandates, even if they themselves had had the imposed medical treatment. He said, If you are anti-mandate, you are absolutely anti-vax. I don't care what your personal vaccination status is. If you support, champion, give a green light, give comfort to, support anybody who argues against the vaccine, you are an anti-vaxxer. Absolutely. Your personal vaccination status is utterly irrelevant. And if you are out there in any way, shape or form campaigning against this mandate, you are absolutely anti-vax. If you say pro-persuasion, stuff it, shove it. Stuff it, shove it. Six months later, in May 2022, he resigned as Chief Minister, stating that his head and heart were no longer in the job. In December 2021, then Western Australian Premier and Labor leader Mark McGowan was having fun closing borders and dictating what medical treatment his constituents must receive in order to maintain their livelihoods. He said, We are now announcing changes to our vaccination program, specifically in relation to third doses. A third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine will now be mandatory for all eligible workers in industries covered by a vaccine mandate. In May 2023, he stood down as Premier and announced his retirement from politics, citing exhaustion. In mid-2021, then-Victorian Premier and Labor leader Daniel Andrews was responsible for some of the harshest pandemic restrictions in the world, with his infamous Orwellian message, staying apart keeps us together. In one of his many lockdown announcements, he said, There's simply no option today but to further strengthen this lockdown and to, on the advice of the Chief Health Officer, extend it uh, for a further two weeks. There will be a curfew on advice from the Chief Health Officer from 9pm to 5am each and every day. There will be no removal of masks to consume alcohol outdoors. So you will no longer be able to remove your mask, to drink a cocktail. Playgrounds, basketball courts, skate parks and exercise equipment, despite the fact that it's outdoors, will be closed. This breeds amongst amongst kids uh, and we just can't have those potential transmission sites open. Religious broadcasts, they'll be further limited. Same crew, you can't have a revolving crew every week. Permits for authorised work will come back. So if you're an authorised worker, You'll need a permit, just as you did last year. If you make the judgment to not get vaccinated and you reckon you can wait out us or the publican or whoever you want to think you're waiting out, you won't wait out the virus because the virus will be here for a long time and your only protection against it is being vaccinated. Nighttime curfews, permits to work. Yes, this was Dan Andrews' dystopia. He also infamously banned golf. Three years on, karma has somewhat come back to bite him, with many of Victoria's elite golf clubs rejecting his membership. I suppose it comes as no surprise that in September this year, Daniel Andrews resigned as Premier, citing that he was worse than a workaholic, that every waking moment was about work, and that he didn't want to get to a place where he resented his job. And the last pandemic Premier still standing in my home state of Queensland, Premier and Labor leader Anastasia Palaszczuk has announced her resignation as well just yesterday. Under her watch, Queensland notoriously had some of the strictest pandemic-related border restrictions in the country, preventing desperate loved ones from reconnecting with dying family members and friends. She legalised abortion and established safe zones around abortion clinics. She banned gay conversion therapy. She banned single-use plastic bags, brought in tougher land-clearing laws, and also legalised voluntary assisted dying. But now the pressure has become a bit too much from within Labor's ranks, and she has quit. Here's what she had to say. I don't believe anyone who comes after me will know how humbling it is. To travel this state and meet so many amazing people.
I will finish this week at the end of this week as Premier. Thank you to the Labor Party, to all of our frontline workers, but most of all, thank you to every single Queensland. Sorry. Sorry, she actually apologised. Well, I've only got two words to say to the outgoing Premier. Good riddance. Mm-hmm.